OK, um, so let's say I have two systems. System A has a recall of 50%, precision of 57%, and I can compute on F1. Uh, system B has recall of 100%, so better recall, uh, but a lower precision at 40%, and I can also compute on F1. So which system do you like better? Right. You could compute an F1 and you could say, well, maybe I like system B a little bit better because it has a higher F1. But then why did you do that? Uh, so, and uh, the point that I want to make here is the very question of looking at this and asking which system is better is incredibly misleading. Right? So anytime you are in a situation like that, you're sitting in a talk and somebody is saying, well, I built our algorithm and this is its recall and precision. And the, for the baseline system, we have the following recall and precision. And then they start arguing why they're better, right? Anytime this happens, there should be a red flag in your head, right? Uh, so why is that? That's because systems A and B with these precision and recall numbers could be indistinguishable. It could actually be the same exact system running at slightly different thresholds, right? So let me give an example of that. Search engines don't produce sets, they produce rankings. The way you get a set from a ranking is you get your ranking, you get a set of scores, and then you impose a threshold. You decide that things that are, things with scores above that threshold are gonna be my retrieved set, and things with scores below that threshold are, gonna, are not gonna be my retrieved set, right? And the threshold setting is largely arbitrary. People set thresholds out of their head, or they come up with an algorithm that they think is a good algorithm for setting their thresholds, and then they compute recall and precision. And by the way, it's not just it's not just retrieval systems, it's not just ranking systems. Anytime you compute scores for items and then put a threshold on those things, you fall into this trap. So I have a ranking here, right? And system A decided to put a threshold right there, right? So if I put a threshold right there, what do I get? I have one, two, three, four relevant documents out of a total of eight. So my recall is going to be 50%. My precision is going to be one, two, three, four out of seven. Right? So I get, I get uh, that's that system there, right? Recall of 50%, precision of 57%. My system B used the same exact algorithm, computed exactly the same scores, but put a different threshold on it. Right? And that system gets a recall of 100% and a lower precision value, right? Exactly the same algorithm, exactly the same scores, two completely different precision and recall values, okay? So what does this tell you? This tells you that when somebody is showing you a recall and precision pair and arguing that one recall precision pair is better than another recall precision pair, uh, they are misleading you, right? Whether they realize it or not, they are asking a completely nonsensical question. It makes no sense to compare things like that unless there is a prescribed way to set thresholds, right? Unless thresholding is actually part uh, of the task. And in most cases, um, it's not. So, right, all I'm trying to show you is you can take exactly the same system and get two completely different F values depending on how you set the threshold. <clears throat> right. So that should be a bit disconcerting. That throws a wrench into any attempt to try to compare two systems. Yeah. Sorry, can't hear. For example, if you don't want to have any two false negatives, let's say, and that's part of your task, is arguing uh, one system is better than that one reasonably. If you didn't want to have any false negatives, yeah. what do you mean? Okay, so you have a constraint that recall has to be 100%. Yes, okay, then you can compare. Uh, because if there is a constraint like that, if there is a constraint that a recall has to be 100% uh, or even 90% or even 80%, that gives you uh, an extra, that basically sets how, that, that tells you how the thresholds are gonna be set. So then you're just looking at precision and yes, a comparison is valid. Uh, it's only in cases where recall is unconstrained. Um, 